This video is all about scalars and vectors. Let's consider a journey that this Viking lady takes as she moves from point A maybe to point B. If she goes from point A to point B in a straight line, then that's where she ends up. All fairly straightforward. However, Gandalf the Grey uh, might take a longer journey battling with orcs and doing whatever he does and he goes at a different uh, distance to get to point B. Now, the two of them will have started at the same position, ended up at the same position, but what they'll have done is uh, gone a different route. And this is a great example uh, to show the difference between a vector quantity and also a scalar. The Viking lady, uh, she traveled a certain uh, distance in a certain direction, which I'm gonna call S. Now, S stands for uh, the distance from a certain place and we call this the displacement. And uh, we represent it with the symbol little s, which is a bit confusing. Now, if we think about how quickly she moved, so maybe how quickly she changed her displacement over a certain time t, we can work out her velocity. Now, Gandalf did something similar, but this time what he did, he ended up by going a certain distance. So the distance, we give the symbol x. So the distance uh, that he actually traveled, uh, x, uh, we can maybe consider how quickly he moved that distance. And this gives us the speed that he traveled at. And the velocity of uh, the Viking is gonna be very different to the speed of Gandalf. And this is a good example to maybe introduce uh, the difference between what we call a scalar quantity and something that we call a vector. Now both of these have a size and we can maybe look at the speed that Gandalf has gone in meters per second. But this uh, a scalar quantity is something that has magnitude, which is just a posh word for size, whereas a vector has both uh, a magnitude, so we can maybe uh, quantify uh, their velocity in meters per second, but more importantly, it also has a direction. And it's this direction which is absolutely key. And a quantity or an amount that has just size is a scalar. Something where the direction important is, is important as well is called a vector. There are some quantities that do depend upon the direction. Okay, These are the vector quantities. And a lot of them you'll be very familiar with, but there's a few new ones. Okay, So one I just introduced earlier, and there is another video all about speed and velocity and acceleration. That's a whole area in itself, is displacement. This is the direction an object moves in a certain direction. Now, if we look at the rate of change of displacement, this gives us our velocity. So how fast an object is moving in a certain distance. Uh, we then might go on and think about acceleration, uh, perhaps the force on an object, uh, maybe the momentum, and also uh, things like the torque. So these things here really do depend upon the direction. That is absolutely key, okay? A momentum to the left is gonna be very different to the momentum to the right. When it comes to scalar quantities that only depend upon the amount of something and the direction is not important, we might think, think about the distance, okay? We thought about the direct distance from A to B as a crow flies that the Viking took, whereas the total distance that uh, Gandalf traveled was quite important. Uh, we can think about the speed or the rate of change of distance. Also mass, it doesn't matter, you don't have 10 kilograms to the left and 10 kilograms to the right. We've got energy. Okay, this is just a, an amount. We have volume uh, and also maybe things like charge. Now, there are plenty more and pretty much every single uh, quantity that we know can be split into maybe uh, a vector or a scalar. 